Oh my goodness. Wow. We have a lot of trash to dig through, so let's get started. We left off with India bailing on Trevor. Remember, she left him at the restaurant? which totally embarrassed him. She decided she was gonna leave me just looking stupid in front of everybody in the restaurant. Feeding each other at the restaurant was not as embarrassing as being left at the restaurant, I know. India comes bursting through the door like the Kool-Aid man and gets all up in Delisa's face like she's ready to fight her. Now you got him telling me to move. Good. Props to child like Cece for that song. She's incredible. Go listen to her. Just raw talent. Anyways, Trevor walks into the house and India is still yelling at Delisa. You can hear Delisa just <laughs> saying bye, bye. The stuff and get out. Fine, fine. Fine. What is going on? Fine. Now, remember, the entire point of this happening is because Delisa's health, her stress levels are too high. So Trevor comes in and he's like, whoa, 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 stop. Wait a minute. I mean, what is she even doing? How you want to have me come down here and tell me I need to leave? Yelling and bullying everyone in the house. Like, how is that helping? Her younger son comes out and he's like, this is crazy. This has to stop. Y'all are acting like I said she gotta go right now. Like, but that's what you tonight. mean. But that's all that. right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I hate it so much that she is getting her son involved in this. It it doesn't have to be a fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. So she yanks her son with her, and she's like, "We're out of here. You don't even want us here. You don't want us here. Fine. We're leaving." Okay, he didn't even say anything about the brother-in-law. He can stay. The way that things is just carrying on, ain't nothing gonna go nowhere. My mom and my sister, they can't get along for squat. And then Trevor in the mix, they ain't helping for nothing. Wisdom from the mouth of babes. Delisa is so relieved and I am so happy for her. It's just too bad that I had to get to that point. She drags her son into the car and starts building her case, how horrible it has been for her at the house, and Delise is just whining and complaining. That's how you treat your mom, and he's such a flip-flop because he just literally said the other day, no, you cannot believe people. The irony is palpable. I might actually die. He's the one who wanted me here. You know, I came here, we had fun, and now you flipping the script. It hurts because I love Trevor. Thankfully, India moves out. Her and Trevor make up. Oh, you was thinking about me even though you were mad at me? You so cute, though. You're just so <sighs> Then he persuades her to go to therapy. What do you think you could do to help support your daughter in her marriage? Nothing. I wish we got more, but I have a feeling this will not be the last we see of them. Moving on. Mother Mary and Brittany absolutely blew it in this episode. Oh my gosh. You guys made yourselves look really, really bad. Today is the first day the three of us are actually getting together since after surgery that I didn't get done. I try to write up my script while I'm watching the episode. Like, I couldn't. I could not pull my eyes off of the screen. Okay, so it starts with TJ and Brittany sitting out by the pool. He's comforting her, letting her know that despite not being able to clap her big, fat, peach If I didn't ever happened to you, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. So just know that I'm always going to have your back through it all. TJ. Do you think we should tell my mom that we're engaged? He's like, yes, it's time. So they go in and sit around the table for some Hamburglers. No, no. Let your mom know the really good news. What's the good news? Mom, I just want you to accept TJ because I'm what I'm about to say. <sighs> Pause it. It's not the right time. Abort. Abort. We're engaged. <sighs> then 
Mother Mary puts on her stunner shades and comes out to the pool to verbally assault TJ. Nothing constructive about anything she says here. She just goes on the attack. I will do everything in my power to stop that marriage. That's why he still lives home, because he can't make it. Hey, TJ, do you know how to swim? What are those glasses? If I have any more problems with you in the future, I could just take you for a walk on a long pair. He's like, go ahead, you wicked witch. I have life insurance. She's like, oh yeah, how much? 50K. Actually, he's like, can't understand anything. They have put subtitles on for him. Well, that's nothing. If you get life insurance, it should definitely be a million or more. Yeah, TJ, how are you gonna pay for all of her surgeries? Just know that we definitely got a master game plan coming. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what's the plan? You want to share? Me going back to school, obviously. I'm already enrolled, but they said they already started. You're going to wait till next year? Good for him. The idea of having a trade job is so frowned upon, like by people like this. Yet people like this will pay through the nose for someone who actually knows what they're doing. Electricians make really good money. You're 28 years old. Okay. You're 28. Okay. What do you wait until you're 40? She can't help herself. She literally has to stand up to continue the tirade. Life it is. Mine's or yours. If you're with my daughter, At the same it's, time. it's it's my life. <sighs> TJ, get out of here. Do not look back. Don't look back. I'm not in a relationship with you. No, but... So at the same time, I have a lot of control in she, this relationship. You can't control our relationship. But Brittany knows how I feel. Wow. She is so clearly trying to scare him away. He must really, really love Brittany to be able to put up with all that. If I'm going to have my daughter with a 35, 40 year old, it's okay, still living home with mommy. So Brittany, rather than putting her mother in her place, a nursing home, she just looks over at TJ like, go on answer this completely valid and practical question and i want the best for you too you don't. She knows yes i do tj really now you're stepping in on your mom's behalf because he said how he was feeling <sighs> hold me back hold me back we're having this deep conversation with you so you can see how much we care i just can't i can't they are on another planet a deep conversation i don't like you talking to my mom like that She's just concerned about the future. She's letting your actions speak. Yes, I, I need to see action. So mom's like, get your dumb ass in the house so we can continue this deep and meaningful conversation, you friggin' idiot. So they go in and mom continues ripping on him. And he's standing right there. I'm not mom. even talking about you. It's crazy. You just keep going over and just blah, blah, like diarrhea out of the mouth. Mary. It's really not cool that you're talking crap about me in front of my back. I'm not gonna allow her to be with somebody who can't support her. All okay? you have to do is say I understand. Lord, help me. Help me, Jesus. Lord. How has this mother successfully turned herself into the victim when she is behaving like a monster? It's asinine. Brittany says if she didn't like you, she wouldn't be telling you this. If this is how she treats guys she likes, does that mean she poisons the one she doesn't? You always say, oh, your mom doesn't like me. If she didn't like you, she wouldn't be telling you this. You wouldn't be in my house. So they're screaming at him. He's just standing there, totally stone faced. This guy has the patience of a saint. And then Brittany breaks down crying. See? I just don't understand. I know, I know, honey, I know. But don't worry, Mother Mary is right there to comfort her. It's okay. See, TJ, you're upsetting her. Just... See, TJ, you're upsetting her. I'm dying. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is the mother. This is my best friend before I met you. I don't even know what to say. What is in it for him? She's always with her mom, and her mom is actively alienating him. Like, you got to get out of there before you mysteriously die. Hello? If you were my boyfriend, okay, I would have kicked your ass to the curb. I'm done. This you said I'm done? How dare you speak, ring, you tolerant moron. Here, take it. Take it. You want to put it down? Really? He's like, fine. You guys win. You won. And he gets up and he walks out. And Brittany's like, what? 
What are you doing? She screams at him one last time before deciding to chase after him. What? Y'all yeah, want. Really? And the mom is like, <laughs> TJ ends up moving in. Oh, by the way, I still have cameras in that room. He moved out two weeks later. Good for him. Let's wrap it up with the furry chinchillas. We've been waiting on pins and needles all week to see, did we get casted? They tell us that they were both called back to be in the runway show. Congratulations, Gabby. So they're getting ready for their first show. You're supposed to be makeup free, but mother knows best. Um, we're not supposed to have makeup on at all. Nothing at all. Mom, stop putting mascara on. They show up. Now, I've never been a model, but I've watched enough back scene clips to know that they are treated like dogs. <laughs> Or worse, like you're a piece of meat. Wow. You think this is a glamorous life? You're right. It's not. But you chose to come. So Gabby is sitting down getting her hair undid. She definitely looks just like her sister. And she's like, hey, hair lady, do you live in New York? And she's like, hell no, it's friggin' expensive here, girl. And Gabby's like, oh, I want to move here. She's like, oh, you totally should. <laughs> So then, it is Grandma's turn to get her hair done. She is not loving being here at all, I can tell. She was mad. She was really, really mad about her hair. No, I don't like it like that. And then, putting a whole can of hairspray on my head, I was not happy. Lady, it's not about you. A model shuts up and she does what she's told and you're gonna look good while doing it and you're gonna have a good attitude about it. Do you think anyone wants to sing a gang of a, what's, what's the word, Gabby, a dra, and, and. And, and grogness? and If you want to slick my hair back, put me in the shower. God bless America with this hairspray, Gabby. Everybody's like basically naked Sis. in the back. The guys too. They're, doesn't, okay. Men are just standing around with their wieners. Dangling. What about cleanliness? I didn't even have my hand sanitizer. All of us are just smushed together like sardines without any clothes on. And we're like sardines back there. No. That's why you're paid so well, because it's dehumanizing. This girl looks dead. If you're a young lady and you watch these shows, and like me, you might have been developing eating disorders, this is not where it's at. I promise. I cut out a ton of commentary in my last Smothered recap. I think my consumption of America's Next Top Model as a preteen and in my teenage years had a huge impact on how I saw myself. It wasn't the only thing, but I became full-blown bulimic. I was actually in complete denial about it until I brought it up in therapy and my therapist asked me some very basic questions like, how often are you doing this? Oh, how many times a day are you? Oh, at the end of the day, being emotionally healthy, mentally healthy, and physically healthy is what a person finds attractive. Just be the best version of yourself. This weekend really reminded me just how much I love New York City. Like every single time I have an opportunity here, I'm like, damn, I'm home. Gabby has already decided she's moving to New York. Gabby, your mother's gonna have a heart attack. They're back home in their little matching fufu dresses and Gabby informs us that the two of them have a vision board. It's their mother-daughter vision board and it's fabulous. It's fabulous. But little Gabby has decided that it's time for her to create her own vision board. And today she will be telling her mother that this scrap of cardboard has nothing to do with her. Dun, dun, dun. New York Fashion Week is behind us. We have to start talking and working on the pageant. Gabby tells us that her first adventure in New York Fashion Week rocked her world. This is what she wants to do with her life and she knows it. She can feel it in her bones, mom. New York Fashion Week like ignited something in me because it was fun, it was exciting. Like I wanna be a New York fashion model. But being away from mom causes her to have immense emotional anxiety. Catherine said that she found her mother dead. She thought her mom was just asleep, and then she realized that she was actually dead. I thought she was just sleeping, and I found her dead. 
I don't like to be shocked. I, that is so devastating. I, I don't want to imagine. I was gonna say, I can't imagine. I don't want to imagine. That would be awful. But you can't put your traumas on Gabby. The hard part is, after all that my mom's been through, I don't want to hurt her anymore. That's not fair. Go cry to your husband or a therapist. I mean, that goes without saying. Well. This juice is delicious. I kind of want to talk to you about something now regarding the future. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, walking for the different brands and then they reached out to me after wanting me to walk next year. And well, let's forget about that. Mom says it was an experience. Nothing more, my dear. Gabby is trying to tell her she's created a new vision board, but the mom is just totally not listening. Because I love really bougie apartments. <sighs> you know, that's why is the dog barking? What? She can't take it anymore. She just spits it out. I've, I've decided that Lauren and I are moving to New York City. And mama, oh boy. Someone go grab the smelling salts. She's gonna pass out. Mom is hurt and then she's angry. What do you mean though? But what, what, a, what about me and you? Goodness gracious, Gabby, how in the wide world of sports are you gonna carry on my legacy? You're not going anywhere. We're making all these plans. What about the pageant? Trust you I again. know, but I knew this was gonna happen. You I won't trust pissed. you again. I won't be able to trust you again. If you want my trust, you better do exactly everything that I say. I well, knew course, you would be upset. If it was something happy, I wouldn't be pissed. I know you'd be If it was something happy, if it was something happy, I'd be joyous. Why? I'm telling you. Are the camera guys gonna have to step in? Mom, get a hold of yourself. When I wake up in the morning, I'm scared. And then I go in your room and I look at you sleeping. Lady, this is starting to look like a 5150 situation. Okay, you need to calm down. No. You need to calm down. I'm not going to calm down. You need to calm down. I can't believe you. So, Gabby, how long till you leave? You have these fantastic water views. Oh. And then I know her sister has enough sense not to be apartment hunting here. She got cold feet. No, she saw the cost of living and ran for the hills. So she's back to full-time pageants with mom pageants announced the elimination of all age limits. I can compete now too with you. And that is all that we have for the main players in this season. I never covered Sky or Skylar because this mother made me so angry. I just couldn't, I, would, I wouldn't have been able to do it without just bashing and trashing her the entire time. And that's only fun for so long. <laughs> Uh, I didn't cover these people, can't even remember their names. I'll just throw up their pictures. Uh, this guy was just a pussy. He's a pussy. And her mom was so unbelievably overbearing, but she allowed it. So it was just really frustrating to watch them. And then Jean Simmons and her daughter do officially go into business despite her husband saying no. Their business is throwing funeral parties. <laughs> so good luck. Um, by the way, if you ever occasionally overeat or occasionally throw up, I'm not a doctor, but if you wanna to talk to someone, you can email me. I really love you guys. If you are still watching at this point in the video, you are making a difference in my life. You are making my life better. And if I can do anything to help you, I want to do that. That being said, if you're having a hard time, reach out to me. You're valuable, you're worth more than your body, and you deserve to feel good on the inside as well as on the outside. And it is possible. Go do something nice for yourself. Tell your mom you love her. Mom, I love you. I'm sorry for putting you through hell over and over and over again. I'm sorry. I was a monster teenager. <laughs> Thank you for all the unconditional love throughout all of my stupid. Bye.